Gareth, I'd like to touch on a really important topic today, and that's the topic of decision making. And if you think about the roles of commercial commercial folk, many of whom will be watching this video right now, very often we are trained to create very strong commercial arguments, very much objectively. Um, and then the process that we teach is around how you engage customers around, in effect, those objectives. Now, there's another piece in there which we haven't talked about before, and that's really the way that people emotionally take decisions. And if you like, we're touching on neuroscience and the work of David Rock always fascinates me and his SCARF model, which really helps us in a relatively simple way, understand some of the things we need to be aware of when we're having or helping people take decisions. Talk to us a little bit about how that plays out from your experience. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I think all too, com all too commonly um, people just talk about the number and it's just all about the data. And it's, you know, don't get me wrong, those things are clearly super important, obviously. Um, but, you know, it's the old adage that people buy from people. And, you know, when you're engaging, you know, a customer, you're, you're dealing with a human being who happens to represent a business. Um, you're still dealing with that human being. And, of course, they've got human needs. And uh, you mentioned the SCARF model. And uh, that's, a, you know, without getting too deep into it, that's talking about, you know, some core human needs to a, you know, a, a greater or lesser degree that all human beings, um, you know, have had have in, in, in their uh, in their needs so you know a sense of status a sense of certainty autonomy relatedness and fairness you know they're, f that's, they're the five needs that he's talking about and uh, if, if our frameworks if the way that we approach our customer is not related to those human needs then the chances are the customer is going to get a poor experience or you know, you're not going to get the sale because of that so it's really important you know these things that we've been talking about in terms of the frameworks and processes and hints and tips they're related to those core human needs. So if I was to distill that into advice for um, the people listening to this video around how they talk about their, their ideas that they're offering, it's to think about how they touch those five elements, yeah? So Gareth, once again, those five elements that make up SCARF are? Yeah, so certainty, uh, sorry, status, certainty, autonomy, relatedness, and fairness. And, if I could just take one example, you know, we've taken a lot, um, you know, we've spoken a lot about, you know, when you're dealing with customers, you know, thinking about the questions you're going to ask, getting curious, listening, find out what is important to them and linking your proposal to them. So let's just think about the importance of that related to the SCARF model. You know, let's think about, you know, a sense of status, the relative importance of, you know, how people feel. So if you're asking your customer questions, you're by definition, you know, it's giving them a sense of status because you're taking their opinions into account. If you think about a sense of autonomy or a feeling of control, it means that you're not just railroading your proposal through your customer. Right. Um, a sense of relatedness. Well, you know, some obvious things in here about, you know, rapport building and building relationships and the sense of fitting in. And uh, again, if you're not taking the time to actually engage on a human level, then that is um, not going to be met as well. So there's just, you know, asking questions is just one example about how it applies to, you know, some of those core human needs. And uh, if we're not linked to that, you know, there are some big consequences, as I said. Okay, great, great model to relate to. Uh, anybody interested in finding out more, please Google it. And there's plenty of information out there in the public domain. It's a really great way of thinking about how to get yourself ready to engage um, around our customers' needs. Thanks very much, Gareth.